Hello everyone, me Speed here with a Battle of Heroes video. So this is going to be a new update. We just got a new update with a lot of new weapons. It's actually the first time in about a year we've had new weapons in the game. So it's pretty nice to see them again. Um, and this is kind of major, I think, compared to, I guess, the last update video I did. Uh, a bit more important. But yeah, the first thing that caught my eye when I saw this update is they added the Dragon Law, which, I mean... That's one of the most popular, expensive, and recognisable weapons and weapon skins in gaming, I think. I think that's fair to say. I mean, even if you've never played CSGO, or I guess CS2, I should say, um, you'd probably know of this. I mean, yeah, it's, it's quite a big deal. Um, there are two versions of it that both sides can use. They're both like slow rifles. One's using an M95 model, and the other's like an SV98. And um, I think they both look really nice, you know, and... They're probably like the closest looking snipers to an AWP that BFH has to offer. Um, yeah, so I definitely think like it's a good choice. Uh, there are some other um, Counter-Strike skins in the game as well. Um, there's the Fire Serpent and the Howl SMGs and the Blaze Machine Gun. And yeah, I think they all look quite nice. And there are obviously like stolen versions as well. And um, I'm sure most people in the community have played uh, Counter Strike before and would recognize these as well. Um, and apart from the Dragon Law, I, I think the Fire Serpent's my favorite because it pretty much matches the original since it's obviously an AK in Battlefield Heroes 2. Um, and yeah, so I mean, one of my favorite skins from CS is the monkey business, so I'm just throwing that in, in here as a suggestion. So make it happen, someone. Um, yeah, we've also got um, some baseball bats. I'm not sure if they're based on another game, but yeah, when I heard about them in you know, my first thought was uh, the royal bat, like the clothing item, because, I mean, that's not that hard to believe. It's been done before, like, you know, they added clothing items into weapons, like the skeleton scythe and stuff like that, but these are actually, like, two different and new textures uh, for Royal and National, and, um, yeah, the damage is really strong. I believe it's like a reskin of the, the mutant club, that sort of weapon, and there's no sound to it, which means... Unless someone's like really paying attention, they're going to get caught off guard quicker and easier. It means it'll be easier to get kills with this as well. And I did have fun using it. I mean, that's kind of rare for me to say. I tend to like ignore knives, knife type weapons and knives in general. Um, but yeah, I did have a bit of fun using this. I'd probably say like, because there's no sound to it, definitely don't go for Poison Blade because that's going to just then mean you're going to be seen easier and you're going to be heard. So... Yeah, um, just try and make it as silent as possible, but yeah, I thought it was fun. There's also a crossbow machine gun. Um, this is like a, a more modern design than the old one, which I do quite like. There's also a winter and a regular version, and I like the colours on the regular one, like the black and the red. And um, yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing like a new crossbow type that isn't like a machine gun at this point. Um, like a, a crossbow with a sight on it for sniping, something like that. Um, but yeah, I still think these are nice. And... Um, yeah, uh, there are also new golden weapons. Uh, obviously, it's quite a big deal um, to, to get some of these because you might have already seen the gameplay. There are rocket launchers like Super and Uber Tank Busters um, in gold. This is like the first time we're getting a golden version of these, unless you count like the dapper one, which I, I kind of do. But um, yeah, it's really nice. There's also a golden version of the new crossbow machine gun. Um, yeah, so just pretty cool to get like a full gold weapon set up on gunner now i suppose i mean unless you count the grenade launcher but i don't know why you'd use that on a gunner um yeah i will just say i'm not sure how long these golden weapons are going to be in the store um as of when this video is going up i think maybe they've got like a, a week or so left um you know when the update first went live that they said like a week to 10 days something like that but uh, they will come back at a later date i mean they always do um, but they, they kind of treat Golden Weapons as quite exclusive and very time limited. They're also not like cheap or anything either. So yeah, it's kind of one of those things where hopefully people have the VP to buy some of this stuff. Um, but yeah, just know it's it's never like gone forever. They're not going to release something only once and never bring it back. It's just going to be a case of however long you've got to wait. Um, I think with like the Golden Weapons, they normally do like, uh, like Black Friday and also for New Year's. So it's probably like quite a while out now thinking about it so yeah if you do want some of these um golden weapons i'd advise like just buying your favorite um for sure um yeah most of these uh these weapons and these weapon skins are community made um yeah so the counter-strike skins including dragon lord are by afio the golden tank busters are by basti um another dragon lord by hoogie and also the baseball bats are by toby zone um 
yeah, and the, the crossbows and the golden versions were made by the Rising Up team as well. Um, I did notice this when I was playing, like, there's no custom sounds or, like, new sounds on the weapons from what I could hear. I think that would have been, like, a nice extra touch for some of these, but, I mean, look, I, I do see that as, like, a lot of extra work. I, I appreciate it's already a lot of work to make these, and, you know, it's time-consuming, um, you know, as they are to just do, like, the skins and everything else. So, um, yeah, I think it's probably asking for a bit much to... Uh, for them to all have like new sounds and stuff um but yeah i think at some point maybe that could happen um yeah but obviously e everyone here is just doing this in their own time you know it's just like when they have the free time to work on it um i think sometimes that's why certain things don't get pushed out as quick um but yeah at the end of the day it's just it's just something that people are doing for fun you know they're not getting paid for it um so yeah, apart from a few minor bug and map fixes, as well as the client finally changing from the December theme, um, this is like the main focus of the update, like the weapons. And yeah, overall, I think this is like a really cool update. You know, I think the weapon skins are pretty well done, and I like the idea of adding like more weapons from other games or like weapon skins, so maybe we'll continue to see that in the future. I know they've added like TF2 items in the past, like some of the hats, so... Maybe like a gold frying pan or something could work at some point, who knows. Um, I'm kind of curious what you guys would add as well. And I, I do think like the more variety, the better. I mean, it could draw people back in or get them interested again if they're seeing like a weapon that they recognize from a game that they play a lot um, or that they've got like memories for or whatever, you know. I think like people can get interested again if they see like these references and callbacks and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's not like crucial, but I think maybe this is going to like resonate with people a bit more if they see um you know like like a dragon law they think okay i remember that um i want to play commando again and snipe in this game and use it it's kind of cool to see but um yeah um i know it's been quite a while again since i did an upload in all honesty you know completely honest i, I just lost a bit of interest um in recording making videos stuff like that um yeah it didn't really feel like it but um you know that could easily change and i could come back to making them frequently again um you know not just for new updates like this one um but we'll see what happens i mean obviously whenever they're going to do something on this level i'm, I'm going to talk about it um yeah and hopefully as, as soon as i can i think this update went live about two or three days ago so yeah i'm kind of you know not leaving it too late i guess but um yeah so hopefully um like i say another new video at some point soon um it's always difficult to get like ideas that isn't that aren't just like okay general gameplay or whatever else but um yeah um like i say I i'll probably um get interested again soon enough so yeah thanks for watching see you next time